Hey you babies, how is it going today on this suntabulous Saturday? Well, let's see what do I have going on today. Well, you see my look today. Yes, I'm wearing black and white. Ooh, babies. I have been going back out and doing my workout routine. Which my hubby is helping me with. Yay! Um, yesterday we walked, um, because I can't, you know, do it strenuous. So, um, I think we walked about a mile and a half mile and a half to two I did this is what I did on Friday I did um I did I woke up my normal routine thanking the Lord <clears throat> saying prayers with my hubby um got up you know brushed her teeth everything and he did his sit up I mean push ups <clears throat> and I did I needed help I can't go all the way down, so I'm doing half squats at the moment on my tippy toes. Um, yeah, because I'm 4'8", and I'm sure it used to be able to, but my knees and stuff are bad, and <clears throat> so I'm doing it the best way I can. So, um, I did 10 squats for morning, took the walk, the mile and a half to two mile walk, um came back ate lunch did squats again we didn't walk anymore we were doing other things and then we were cleaning oh i know what i did um started washing clothes <clears throat> um then we came back and then around six I did another 10 squats, 10 half squats, and then dinner. No, dinner first, then squats. So I eat first, and then I do my squats. And um, yeah, it's, it's backwards, because I know most people do their exercise first, then eat. I eat first, then do exercise, because I do, I have medicine. So, um, this morning I did my squats. I just ate a little bit. I didn't really have an appetite. I really don't have appetites and I have to force myself because of the medicine. Um, <clears throat> but I am so, so, so sore. And that's just crazy because I'm really sore. And the other thing is, is I have to do squats again here in about another 45 minutes for my, you know, lunchtime squats, you know. And, um, oh my God, I'm so sore. And then to top it off, you know, guys, when Mother Nature calls and all that stuff happens, you know, I get really weak. So we're, what we're doing is me and my husband we have this little thing where i'm gonna keep going because my body is really trying to shut down on its own it's trying to say no you're gonna be in the bed you can't do this you can't do that and we're not trying to let that happen and so we're doing gradually doing different things i walk i stretch i do my half squats and I'm actually having fun doing them because I do have an exercise partner now and he can help me. Um, on the days he doesn't go to school, we walk. And when he comes back um, from school, he does his rest and then we'll do um, a walk and then the squats because he does his push-ups every morning every night you know and I find it that it's easier when we have an exercise partner to work with you 
instead of you doing it by yourself because you're really not motivated if you don't have anybody to work with you even though you're trying to do it for yourself some of us we do it oh we're motivated for a little bit and then that goes out the window well I am motivated because I do have a workout partner somebody who well, he knows what's going on with me how far I can go and stuff like that yeah we kind of push it a little bit every now and then but at the same time Lisa is not trying to throw in the towel for the simple fact it is getting time I will be 43 blessed be April 26 and you guys know for those of you who don't and family members know what I do is my mother's birthday was April 1st so I start on April 1st my anniversary is April 6th and then my birthday April 26th so I celebrate that whole entire month for my mother for our anniversary and for myself and I also celebrate all of this with God because it was impossible and it's never possible without him so <clears throat> I'm gonna keep doing this and keep doing this because every year this is how I celebrate I used to celebrate my sister's birthday January 4th like that but you know sometimes in the beginning of the year it's kind of hard cuz you know still drunk from New Year's yeah <laughs> and then too um, I didn't get a chance for these few years is because I've been really sick and last year it was hard for me to celebrate the whole month because it was back and forth to the hospital I'm getting sick and, and <clears throat> to be honest some doctors don't know about sickle cell so you have to get your specialist who knows about sickle cell who specializes in nothing but sickle cell okay so I finally have a great doctor and great so also on the 24th I'm st I have a doctor's appointment I have to go get you know a fusion it's an iron fusion he doesn't believe in giving blood transfusions it's one o'clock thank you love which I'm so glad he does not because my immune system is bad and you know you you don't know a lot of things about people's blood even though they scan it they are not perfect okay so <clears throat> I am not able to take iron myself so he said he's gonna try this and we're gonna try and see and a lot of people have been doing this so this is what I'm going to be doing so <clears throat> and another thing you know we gotta check out my playlist and all that stuff to make sure I'm good and all that so on top of that I'm still in the process of trying to do um I would like to do or if anyone would like to donate <clears throat> um, there is let me let me start off I told you guys before about um, the swim team it's called the sting there's called the stingrays well the stingrays are a special needs swim team aquatic swim team and they have reached out and they need a little help to get their things it is actually 200 of them but at the moment we are accounting for 55 and here at today's party supply we are going to be donating some tablecloths some cups some plates um, and that's what we're going to be donating and we're also going to be trying to do a fundraiser for them to raise some money because they need a lot of things and you know it's really beautiful that you know people can come together and help and stuff like that so I'm asking you guys if you have anything you would like to donate um, to the stingray aquatic swim team and their motto is we swim for our abilities and not our disabilities and these babies are um, they have Down syndrome, but they are beautiful. And if you would like to help, they're they're gonna have a swim meet, and they're trying not to cancel it because they do need a lot of things. And I'm gonna help the best way I can. You know, this is what I love doing. 
So I am going to donate these things out of love. And you know, like Mr. Ed Callahan said that he would put our banner up, he would put us on the program, he would have our flowers out. But you know what? It's not about that. I don't, like I told him, I don't need my banner up, my flyers. This is out of the goodness of our hearts and we love doing these kind of things. So, if you guys would like to help out, let me know. Inbox me on my Facebook. Um, even here on YouTube. Do whatever you need to do. But I will also, as um, soon as I get... I'm getting my P.O. box. I mean, I could have it coming to the job, actually, which will be great. If you guys want to donate anything, you can donate it to 8606 South Broadway, Los Angeles, California, 900003. That's nine, three zeros, and a three. All right? And that's for today's party supply and more. And actually, baby... This is no joke. This is not Lisa trying to take anything because this is not what I do. This is for these babies that, you know, they're trying. They're a nonprofit organization. They're really trying. And sometimes we like helping somewhere else in other countries, but we're not helping in our own backyard. They're, staged, they're in Monrovia, and it's fine because, you know, it's cool. And he even said if he needed to come and pick up the stuff instead of me coming all the way there, it's fine. Which is great because Monrovia is a long way from where I am. But we don't mind traveling. So, um, if you guys love doing what you do and you would like to help, you can send it. You can even call it love mail. I don't care what you call it. Just do whatever. You can send five, ten dollars. Wherever it's going, it's going to the Stingray swim team. Okay, the Stingray Aquatic Special Needs swim team. If you haven't, let me put it this way. If you always said, "Well, maybe I need to help out or do something," and you know. And you really haven't, you haven't donated to anywhere or anything. Or people's always trying to get you to donate like me. I'm very, very peculiar, peculiar about donating to all these places. Like they say, um, when they put the pets on the TV and when they see the, we see these children from Africa and stuff like that. But the thing is, is I see these babies, and I would love to help these babies. But what about the babies that we have here? What about the pets that we have here? What about all the stuff that's going on here? It's not like I don't want to help them over there. But why can't we start out and help over here? So what I'm going to be doing is helping our little babies over here. Okay? So if you guys want to help the babies over here too, because you're over here... Then you know 8606 South Broadway, Los Angeles, California, 90003. Today's party supply and more. And it can be all the love mail. And make sure you put Stingray Swim Team for whatever it is because that's where it's going. It's not going to me. You could put Attention Today's party supply or Attention Lisa, but it's going to the Stingray Swim Team. Okay? All right, babies, love you. Got to get ready to go and do all that stuff. You know, I'll be exercising. I still got to have my coffee because that's the only thing to help my body. I'm so sorry. Love y'all. My hubby peeping at me. Think it's time for us to do some exercise. Y'all pray for me. Love you. And again, be blessed. Love you. Everybody you come in contact with, whether it's a friendly love, a giving love, a love that they stand with, whatever it is. Always, and please keep in touch with your family members and the ones that have become your friends and family. Keep in touch because you never know when they're never here again. Okay? Alright, babies. Love all my family. Love you guys in Texas, all over Texas. 
Let me put you that way. Louisiana, wherever you are, Abilene, Texarkana. We, here in California, we got so, uh, across the waters, I love all y'all. Even you new babies. Love ya. God bless. Peace.